assigned them to be trusted with our homes, with our way of life, with our world. But did we design them to be trusted? The rollout of USR's new generation of robot, the NS5, was marred by the death of designer Alfred Lanning. Identify. Murder's a new trick for a robot. Respond. I did not murder him! We're gonna miss the good old days. What good old days? When people were killed by other people. My robots don't kill people. That thing threw somebody out of a window. Is that registering with you? A robot cannot harm a human being. And you trust them if you want to. We look to robots for protection. Imagine the loss of all that we've gained because of an irrational paranoia. Does thinking you're the last sane man on the face of the earth make you crazy? Because if it does, maybe I am. Maybe you can be looking in the shadows all the time. Inside, help me find out what is wrong with these robots. Dr. Lanning suggested robots might naturally evolve. I was hoping to see you again, Detective. Think of me as your friend. Why didn't you just hand the world over on a silver platter? Maybe we did. We are on the eve of the largest robotic distribution in history. There will be one robot to every five humans. How many robots have ever committed a crime? How many robots in the world? None. There is no conspiracy. What this is is one mistake! Oh, hell no! Somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. of me, detective. You know what they say about old dogs? Not really. Gotcha. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on iRobot, which came out in 2004. And the film stars Will Smith, Bridget Monaghan, Bruce Greenwood, James Cromwell, G. McBride, and Alan Tudyk. And the film is based off of the uh, book by Isaac Asimov. I think that's how you pronounce uh, his name. And the film is directed by Alex Proyas, who uh, directed The Crow with uh, Brandon Lee, uh, which I really enjoy. He also directed Dark City, which is a film that I want to give a watch someday, because I've seen the trailer to it. And that film stars Kiefer Sutherland, and Jennifer Connelly, William Hurt. That's definitely a film uh, that I want to check out at some point. And this film is a uh, sci-fi uh, thriller, also action film. And I really enjoyed this film. I thought this was a good movie. And the effects on like the robots were... Uh, pretty well done. Basically what the film is about is it takes place in Chicago in 2035 and robots are everywhere. And these robots were created by Dr. Alfred Lannan who was played by James Cromwell. And these robots can do the work that humans don't want to do. And these robots have to obey three laws. The first law is to never injure humans. The robots should never injure humans. The second law is for the robots to obey humans. And the third law is uh, to protect their own existence. The robots must protect their own existence unless doing so would go against the first two laws. And it follows Detective Del Spooner who is played by Will Smith and he investigates the suicide of Dr. Alfred Land played by James Cromwell. And so Will Smith believes that a human-like robot, uh, which they call Sonny, who is played by Alan Tudyk, ends up murdering uh, Lannan. To which uh, Sonny, played by Alan Tudyk, you know, is a 
a robot that was built by James Cromwell's character, Lannan. And Sonny has a unique design that features the ability to feel emotions. And we find out that Sonny, you know, struggles to understand why Lannan built him and what his purpose in life is. So Alan Tudyk did the uh, the voice of Sonny and motion capture, which you know, was pretty cool. I like Alan, T Alan Tudyk. He's a good actor. I really uh, enjoy him in uh, the sci-fi uh, series Resident Alien, which if you all haven't seen Resident Alien, is a uh, good show. It's very funny and it comes on uh, sci-fi. It comes on sci-fi channel and he is the other uh, main uh, character in that uh, series, Alan Tudyk. And so basically Will Smith teams up with uh, Bridget Monaghan's character, uh, Dr. Susan Calvin, which uh, she's a robo-psychologist in uh, the film. And so her character ends up working uh, closely with uh, James Cromwell's character on the development of these new and as five models, which are these robots, and she was in charge of making the robots seem more human. And so, pretty much, basically, uh, that's what the uh, the plot to the film is about. You know, they gotta stop uh, these robots because the robots are controlled by uh, this uh, program called Vicky, and she was built by James Cromwell's character. And she has control over virtually all of the building's functions because the building is called the USR. And so we see later on, like, these robots get controlled and they turn red. And pretty much they basically go crazy over, like, Will Smith's character. So that's basically uh, the plot to the film. You have also Will Smith's character. Uh, he was driving uh, this Audi. It was the Audi RSQ that was just designed for the film. Very nice looking uh, car uh, that uh, they designed for uh, Will Smith's character. And it was to increase uh, brand awareness and raise the appeal of the Audi brand. So, but very nice uh, looking car that they designed. I thought the story was pretty good. Alex Proyas did a good job directing the film. Will Smith as Spooner, very likable character. And the uh, effects in the film, the whole uh, future world in uh, Chicago, I thought was very good. The effects hold up to this day. And the robots uh, looked uh, very nice, very well detailed. And uh, Bridget Monahan as... Uh, Dr. Susan Calvin thought she did a good job as well. You got a little appearance uh, in the film by Shia LaBeouf, who is a friend of Will Smith's character, Spooner. So he shows up there in a little uh, little role. Thought uh, Bruce Greenwood, who plays Lawrence Robertson, he's the co-founder and CEO of the USR, thought he did a uh, pretty a good job as well. And uh, James Cromwell, you know, did uh, fine as uh, Dr. Alfred Lannan. Jim McBride, who plays uh, Lieutenant John Bergen, he's with the, uh, the police. He is uh, Will Smith's character's uh, supervisor. And he acts as a mentor to uh, Will Smith's character. But uh, the film uh, originally had no connection with uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, book series. Uh, this is a little bit of trivia here. Uh, the original screenplay was written in 1995 by Jeff Vintar entitled Hardwired. And the project was first acquired by Disney. And originally, Brian Singer uh, was going to direct the film. But years later, uh, the film was acquired by 20th Century Fox, which, you know, that's funny because. Uh, Disney now owns 20th Century Fox. So 20th Century Fox end up uh, getting the project and they signed Alex Proyas 
as uh, the director of the film. And originally, Will Smith wasn't going to be the original choice to play Spooner. Originally, they wanted Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was attached to uh, the film for several years. And so Will Smith ended up pursuing, taking over the role because Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, his schedule was delayed in his participation in the film. And so Denzel Washington uh, was off the role. But he ended up turning it down, and so it led to uh, Will Smith uh, again the role. And there was also talk about a sequel. Uh, there was an interview uh, on uh, Collider back in 2007, where uh, writer and producer Ronald Moore, this was at a Battlestar Galactica event, he abstained that he was going to write the sequel. And Alex Proyas ended up mentioning in the two-disc uh, edition of the film, I guess on DVD, he had mentioned that if he were to make a sequel, it would be set in outer space. I mean, I wouldn't have mind seeing uh, a sequel in outer space. So nothing has happened uh, since then. There's, you know, they didn't even go ahead in making the sequel. I mean, the film uh, did good at the box office. It had a budget of 120 million, and it made 353 million here in the U.S., so it did good. So it would have warranted a uh, sequel. And the film was supposed to come out on July 2nd of that year in 2004, but since uh, Spider-Man 2 came out uh, that Wednesday of that week, uh, they ended up pushing the film to uh, July 16th to avoid the competition because, of course, Spider-Man 2 is going to be a big movie. So, But iRobot, good movie, really enjoyed it. Will Smith uh, did a good job in the role as Spooner. I said, very likable character that he plays. Uh, I said, the effects were amazing, still hold up to this day. And if you haven't seen the film, it's definitely worth watching. So, but anyways, that's it for my review of iRobot. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later tonight with the SmackDown and AW Rampage review. So until then, see you all later tonight.